You know, it's nothing like a hometown kid being drafted by the team that he watched growing up. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Shaw's Corner. On today's episode, I will discuss which teams actually selected my top 10 picks in the 2020 NBA draft and how I think they'll fit in. With the first pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves selected Anthony Edwards. That was no surprise. However, my initial reaction was, oh, he signed to Clutch Sports Agency. Of course he had to go number one. Being the top pick in the NBA draft comes with lots of pressure and scrutiny. Shall we ask Zion Williamson from the 2019 NBA draft? How about DeAndre Ayton from 2018 or Markel Fultz from 2017? All three of them have felt the pressure of being number one. Coming in at number two is James Wiseman. He is a seven foot one, 235 pound physical specimen to the Golden State Warriors. The news of Klay Thompson's season ending injury kind of dampered the hopes of Golden State making a significant run in the NBA season as well as into the playoffs. However, with the help of James Wiseman, I think they'll be okay. Next up was LaMelo Ball at number three to the Charlotte Hornets. LaMelo should be ready for the attention he is about to get. I do expect him to be better than his older brother Lonzo but we'll see. The number four pick surprised all of us. The Chicago Bulls selected Patrick Williams out of the clear blue sky. Patrick was not on my radar. I did not see him going top five. Chicago, let me just say, I'm really sorry. At number five was Isaac Okoro to the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think Isaac will do extremely well alongside Colin Sexton and Andre Drummond. Isaac's claim to fame is his defense, and he's already made it known that he is looking forward to guarding the top players. I like the confidence in the young man. Next up was Anyeka Agunku at number six to the Atlanta Hawks. Anyeka has a very emotional story with the loss of his brother, and he has already made it known that he is going to use that to fuel him every game. With the addition of Rajon Rondo already coupled with Trey Young and John Collins, Atlanta Hawks should be very fun to watch. However, they already have Clint Capella at center, so I'm not sure how much time Anyeka will receive. At number seven was Killian Hayes to the Detroit Pistons. Killian, I'm very happy for you. However, I do not see a good fit in Detroit. Detroit has a losing culture, and it's been that way for years. I don't expect them to make any noise whatsoever in the East. But Killian, congratulations. Up next was my favorite pick in the 2020 NBA draft. You know, it's nothing like a hometown kid being drafted by the team that he watched growing up. At number eight, the New York Knicks selected OB Tobin. OB has a heart of a champion, and I cannot wait to see him and RJ Barrett run the fast break. Looks like the Knicks are back, y'all. At number nine, the Washington Wizards selected Denny Avdia. I'm not sure how the EuroLeague phenom will fit into the district. Seems that Denny might be walking into a lot of turmoil with the Washington Wizards. I hope not, but it sure looks that way. The 10th pick in the draft was Jalen Smith to the Phoenix Suns. Again, Jalen was not on my radar at all. The Suns have just acquired CP3 to go alongside Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton. Oh my goodness, the Suns look good. Number 11 was Devin Vassell to the San Antonio Spurs. Devin was not on my radar at all. However, if San Antonio picked him, oh, he must be solid. The San Antonio Spurs make very few mistakes. So I'm pretty sure that Devin will be an outstanding player for Greg Popovich. With the number 12 pick, the Sacramento Kings selected Tyrese Halliburton. I was surprised Tyrese went so late in the draft. I had him going in the top 10 at least. Tyrese will probably back up or play with De'Aaron Fox in Sacramento. I can't wait to see those young guys play. At number 13, the New Orleans Pelicans selected Kara Lewis Jr. Again, not on my radar at all. However, do the Pelicans not believe in Lonzo Ball? Why did they pick another guard when the roster is already filled with tons of guards? Hmm, Lonzo, if you're not careful, I'm pretty sure Coach Stan Van Gundy will slide Kara Lewis in 
to take over starting point guard duties. Hello. The Boston Celtics selected Aaron Nesmith at number 14. Again, not on my radar at all. However, Celtics fans seem to be pretty excited about this pick. Nesmith is supposed to be a really good perimeter shooter. I don't know how much time Aaron can expect because Boston is already stacked. The next pick in the 2020 NBA draft wraps up my top 10 players who were on my watch list. The Orlando Magic selected Cole Anthony at number 15. I had him going number 10 in the 2020 NBA draft. Somehow, his stock was not highly sought after. You know, I'm not in love with Cole Anthony's game. He's a ball-dominant point guard, but he's going to Orlando for Pete's sake. I'll give him a fair chance. All right, you guys, that wraps up this episode of my analysis of the 2020 NBA draft. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know if some of your favorite players were picked up from some of your favorite teams. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I will see you on the next one. See ya.